You've put up with all the hardships of that program of social distancing because you understand that as things stand and as the experience of every other country has shown, it's the only way to defeat the coronavirus, the most vicious threat this country has faced in my lifetime. And though the death toll has been tragic and the suffering immense, and though we grieve for all those we have lost, it is a fact that by adopting those measures, we prevented this country from being engulfed by what could have been a catastrophe in which the reasonable worst case scenario was half a million fatalities. And it's thanks to your effort and sacrifice in stopping the spread of this disease that the death rate is coming down and hospital admissions are coming down. And thanks to you, we've protected our NHS and saved many thousands of lives. And so I know, you know, that it would be madness now to throw away that achievement by allowing a second spike. We must stay alert. We must continue to control the virus and save lives. And yet we must also recognise that this campaign against the virus has come at colossal cost to our way of life. We can see it all around us in the shuttered shops and abandoned businesses and darkened pubs and restaurants. And there are millions of people who are both fearful of this terrible disease and at the same time also fearful of what this long period of enforced inactivity will do to their livelihoods and their mental and physical well-being, to their futures and the futures of their children. So I want to provide tonight for you the shape of a plan to address both fears, both to beat the virus and provide the first sketch of a roadmap for reopening society, a sense of the way ahead and when and how and on what basis we will take the decisions to proceed. I'll be setting out more details in Parliament tomorrow and taking questions from the public in the evening. I've consulted across the political spectrum, across all four nations of the UK. And though different parts of the country are experiencing the pandemic at different rates, and though it's right to be flexible in our response, I believe that as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Scotland, England, Wales, Northern Ireland, there is a strong resolve to defeat this together. And today, a general consensus on what we could do. And I stress could, because although we have a plan, it is a conditional plan. And since our priority is to protect the public and save lives, we cannot move forward unless we satisfy the five tests. We must protect our NHS. We must see sustained falls in the death rate. We must see sustained and considerable falls in the rate of infection. We must sort out our challenges in getting enough PPE to the people who need it. And yes, it's a global problem, but we must fix it. And last, we must make sure that any measures we take do not force the reproduction rate of the disease the R back up over one, so that we have the kind of exponential growth we were facing a few weeks ago.